y'all. I'm officially getting rid of my hair. I didn't sleep with a bonnet today because I wanted to enjoy it while it lasted. Chop, 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 I think this is a good hairstyle. Hold on, hold on. Let me stop it. My hair's not gonna do what you think it's gonna do. Yeah! Uh, I feel liberated. Now I have normal colored hair. Love it. I love it. I really do love it. Like, see the puff starting to transform. Boom. We out here. You gotta be rough like that. Yo, she really did, yo, yo, mama needs to be tearing my shit up. All right, so here's the big comb. This is the thrasin. All right, so first, let me say this. It's already gonna... parted for the most no, part. No, but the part doesn't look the way I want it. Oh, I'm so. sorry, boys. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna part, wow. Okay, now fill it once off. Well, we're gonna do it like that. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's not go. gonna work. You just need a do-rag, that's it. I do right. So we can lay down. That's it. No, <laughs> you just need to do it right. All right, boom. Oh wait. Oh hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. It don't look bad. Get this type of curls. Yay! So your locks is gonna be really nice. It's gonna be like like a godly swags. Yay! Like I'm be looking different. My hair was so cute yesterday. I wish I would have took a picture, but it is what it is. About to get ready, eat, shower, get dressed, and head out because my appointment's at ten. And it's about to be nine. Hi Sage. How are you? So can we just give me a little congratulations? There's no dishes in the sink. I absolutely hate doing dishes. Like I really genuinely hate doing dishes. I have a whole dishwasher, like I completely forgot. So like I need to start using this shit because I hate doing dishes, but clean sink, oh man. So we ate and showered. This is the fit of the day. White little sandals, I have blue pants on. As y'all can see, um, I don't know what happened here. I was kind of washing, oh wait. It's not even on my clothes, it's on the mirror. Y'all, I'm slow. I wore this in one of my hauls. This was like from a sponsored site or whatever. These pants are from Forever 21. This bag is also from a sponsor and these sandals are from Rainbow. So, very different. I don't usually dress like this, but I was like, hmm, this would be a cute outfit. So, this is my going out outfit, y'all. This is such a big deal for me. I wanted locks for so long, but yeah. We shall see how this goes. Okay, now. These, this is what I usually do when my hair is washed or like I'm about to get it done because don't nobody got time to be actually doing it. Like it's about to get done, like who has time? So we're about to head out the door and we out. Y'all, this is a bittersweet moment. Like I'm so excited, but at the same time, I'm like, dang, I'm really giving up my hair. Like no more natural hair. Like nah, bro, this is wild. Like, I don't even know how to feel. I don't, I don't know. Like I thought I was going chicken out again. I chicken out last week, but I did have raids in and I didn't take it out yet. So I was like, oh, okay. I'll just do it next week. But it's just like, dang. I can't believe I'm about to do this again. Like, if you guys do not know, I had locks years ago. It didn't even last that long because I was so insecure about the length that I was just like, nah, I'm not doing this again. Now, I know a lot of you are probably like, oh, why don't you just get, um, you know, lock extensions? Well, lock extensions are minimum like $500. Um, you have to get the hair and then you have to get someone to install them and then there's like a whole heap of Things that can happen when you just get them installed and you don't um like actually organically grow them Also, I feel like it can be seen as a tad bit disrespectful To go ahead and you know get extensions to cheat the process Especially when there's people out there that's been growing their hair for years wherever the case may be and there's also a spiritual connection to having locks. 
um, you know, the ancient elites used to wear dreadlocks to signify power. And um, people who are on spiritual journeys, which I'm at the beginning of mine, um, usually wear locks in order to, um, I guess, enhance their receptor um, that basically connect you to a higher spiritual being of yourself and God or whoever or whatever it is that you believe in. That's one of the main reasons I wanted locks in the very first place, like a long time ago. But I guess I didn't really care too much and I just gave up because I was so stuck on the aesthetic of it instead of what it was specifically for. But I think this time I have way more... Mm, um, if anything, I do have plenty of wigs I can wear. I'd rather put on wigs than go sew on or attach some dreadlocks because, again, it's expensive. And I just feel like it may not be worth it. Even though there's people that get it just for the beginning and then they cut it off. It's still like, you know... Oh, it's not that bad. It's not that short. It's not that short. Okay, we 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 got something. It elongates. Yeah. And I like your hair because you see how it curls up. Some people don't get that. Some people get that. Yeah, I heard people talk about that. I was like, that happens to people. Yeah. I never seen it. Some people not get this type of curl. Yay. So your locks is gonna be really nice. It's gonna be like like a goddess locks. Yay. I'm be looking different. sucky part oh my lord this is so different but i actually like it i'm not mad <laughs> oh my god there's a lot of locks in my head though shit yeah, there's a lot. oh my lord i should have counted them shit but whatever like, this is a lot of locks but it's cute So different but oh my god I'm happy I'm not depressed about it the first time I was just like oh my god I you hated it immediately your, your, um, your ugly stage is not <laughs> short <laughs> Girl, people should be like right here y'all I know they, they can't do nothing about it like they gotta oh my gotta god yeah mine won't be that bad thank god Couple yeah, months I'll be Gucci. Yeah, here, especially since, I, like I told you, you know, wear your wigs. Put a cap on, uh, mm -hmm. a wig cap over, and put your wig on. Right, in case we be, the more heat it takes, mm -hmm. like, the more it's gonna be better. Yeah, it works. Say you want it, you want it, uh, you want it to look ugly. Like I'm talking about messed up, mm -hmm. looking crazy. Ooh. I ain't trying to look that bad. Well, I have hats and wigs. I'll be fine. Yeah. Oh Lord! Oh yeah, and then the itching. Yes, because it's already like because of the products. That's why. God damn! This part of my head is always itchy, though. I don't understand. Ah, <laughs> oh, I feel so free. I feel so different, though. Oh my God! Yeah, this isn't bad. I thought it was gonna be like. No, it's no. shrimpy shrimpy but it's actually not bad like i'm not hating this oh my god there i'm shocked go. yay Aww. you see what i said like, you see how it's, it's curly so, yeah what the yeah. fudge it's gonna stay like this your ends are gonna stay curly oh it's gonna be so and then cute when you just want to just play look just 
twists mm -hmm. your hair the way it's twisted. It's inner. It's not inner. outer. Wait. It's inner. So you go inner. All of them is the same way. Okay. Just twist that your works. Hair. So, you know, when you bored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said what I'm bored. Yeah, when you bored for real. You just, just twist see, them. Just oh twist my them. god. He's so cute. I really like this. I'm okay. Thank God. I woke up on the right side of the bed because I'll be stressed for no reason sometimes. I really like this. Okay, a month. A lot right. of you guys are probably upset, but it is what it is. No more natural afro, no more twist outs, no more high puff, no more box braids. Well, I have a box braid wig and I'm probably still going to wear it, but you get the point. I have decided to join the Lock Life, okay? Jodi a ne voit le parler pour qui ça me mette dread non cette moi, okay? Now, I'm going to be a Haitian, you probably made the lead, you did me lead, you tell me to sound like a carbon, so you follow me. Mo amen, okay? Mo amen, I'm pile de toujours en amen, parce que, I don't know, like, you don't toujours pas quand tu te vois comme belle sur moi. Tu toujours pensé que tu es belle avec elle. So, mo fellé, et puis that's it. Now, I know a lot of Haitians don't like the way dreads look. They feel like they make you look like a bad person. They make you look a vagabond. They make you look nasty, dirty, whatever the case may be. But I like them, and that's all that matters. I know I'm not dirty. I'm not a vagabond. I'm not nasty. I'm not any of that. So anything that anyone has to say about that is not really going to bother me. And um, a lot of you guys want to know why, what happened, what's going on. Am I going through a crisis? Absolutely not, okay? And it's just something like I've always wanted. And you guys are probably like, oh, why don't you just get full locks? Like, I've gotten full locks. I, like, I, I want legit locks in my head. Um, if you guys do not know the history and stuff of that uh, about locks, you should definitely look it up. It's very, very interesting. But locks signify power. And ancient um, people in Egypt, which, you know, were black. Let, let me tell you right now. Don't let them tell you that they were anything but black because they were black. Um, wore their locks to signify how long they were in power. So the longer the locks, the longer they've been in power. And I believe that locks hold energy. Hair in general holds energy. That is one of the reasons I stayed natural. Um, you guys already know why I went natural if you follow my other channel, but quick synopsis. It was one of those things that was very, very impromptu. Just like this was impromptu, because I've wanted to get locks so many times, but it was one of those things where like I could never bring myself to do it and I would chicken out. This was like, oh, like a couple weeks ago, I was like, you know what, let me just get it now. Like, I ain't got nothing else to do, like, fuck it, like. You know, so it's one of those things where it was like in the back of my head and I just finally went through with it. I, I've been natural for seven years, y'all. Yes, seven years. I went natural in 2013, right after high school graduation, right before I got into undergrad at Buffalo College. Um, and it's funny, like I literally chopped my hair off, one, to stop being length obsessed, and two, because my cousin had chopped her hair off and she also felt insecure and I wanted to show her like, listen, Sis, ain't nothing to feel insecure about. You're still beautiful. So I chopped my hair off and I stuck to it. Um, and I, I loved it. I loved it. I wore my afro out every single day. I, Y'all, I loved it. But then, you know, now my hair started to grow. So now it's starting to, like, fall. So I would still always wear my puff. And getting locks was hard. Or making the decision to get locks was hard. Because if you guys know me, you would know that... Um, my puff is very iconic to me. My natural hair is iconic to me. Like anyone who knows me knows me for my natural hair and my sense of style. Like I'm always dressed. I always have heels on. Like I'm always like well put together. And most of the time people can see me because I always got my hair in an afro. So it's like, dang, I ain't gonna have an afro no more. Like that's a little, it's a little like, I feel a little oh my god about it, but at the same time, I could always braid these downs and put a wig on or braid this down and put my clip-ins in. So that helps, you know, to think about like, okay, you know what? I could actually, you know, still be me sometimes. Like I still could put my her giving hair wig on on top of this and still kind of feel more like my old self. But at the same time, I feel like it's time to change. It's time to get into something new because I feel like I'm really evolving as a person. I feel like I'm being called to start my spiritual journey. No, that doesn't mean I'm about to 
be hopping in church and start preaching to y'all and making God videos. Even though, I mean, it's okay if that's what you do, but no, I'm talking about spiritual as in me as a being connecting with the universe and connecting with the earth and trying to see exactly what it is that I want to do, who I want to be and all this extra stuff. And I'm telling you this right now, like I've always had dreams of me with locks and a nose ring. So now I have locks and a nose ring. So, I mean, I think it's just one of those things I've always been called to do. Like I felt like I've always been called to get locks and it is what it is at this point so i mean bye bye natural hair and hello locks okay even though locks are still considered natural hair right because these i didn't get extensions or anything like that but i mean this is the end of me in my i guess traditional natural hair journey i can't wait to see what they turn out like when they get longer and stuff like that and i don't think i'm going to go the extension route because i just feel like it might be a little disrespectful to like skip the process and i know a lot of people genuinely don't care and trust me you already know me you know i'm not one to give any care in the world about what anyone thinks about me however my boyfriend has locks a lot of people around me have locks and they started it specifically for um well my boyfriend didn't start it for this reason but most people i know have started their lock journeys for spiritual reasons and it's kind of a slap in the face and a little disrespectful to like skip the process when they actually sat there and went through the process and yeah i was like you know what if they can do it i can do it too um maybe i might change my mind listen maybe next time you see me i'll have a puff maybe i'll give up like who knows okay maybe i'll go get extensions who knows like i'm not trying to down anyone that got extensions or anything like that because trust me i heavily debated it and i was this close to getting them but i was like you know what i'm just gonna start it off and if i start feeling insecure or if i start feeling some type of way thank god for wigs feel god i feel bad for the guys y'all the guys that try to get these these locks and they be looking all types of crazy Feel bad for y'all because i can't just put a wig on but me i can so i'm very very grateful for that so my home girl felicia my home girl felicia did my locks now she also does my wigs as well she also has locks so i was like you know what i'm gonna go to someone who has locks has experience with locks and she already does my hair so why not keep it in the family okay she will be my loctician and i definitely recorded the process for you guys um yeah it was a very bittersweet moment I was um, really like, oh my God, but I was actually very, very excited. I was excited because I was like, oh my God, something new. Like, I don't know, like I feel real, real refreshed. But I don't know, for those of you who are like really, really into like energy and spirituality and stuff like that, comment down below if you have locks. Or even if you don't have locks, comment down below if you have like natural hair and if you just went natural and you just got locks. Did your energy change? Kid you not. I went to sleep last night at a reasonable time and I woke up in a panic attack. Like I had a whole anxiety attack. Anxiety attacks all the time, I'm bipolar. But this was really, really different. Like I felt like I just had all of this energy hitting me, I don't know. Maybe, maybe someone else could explain this to me down below. I'm not well versed in this topic yet, okay? But it is what it is. Um, I don't know how many locks I have in my head. I did not count them, I did not count them. And the reason I have it tied up kind of right now is because she told me to specifically wear my wigs and keep it tied up. But um, I, this is what I did for today. And I just think it was cute. I want to take my first little picture with my locks. And I do have some length, okay? Even though they're significantly shrunken, I have some length. So I don't think my ugly face is going to be that bad. Like, I really love this. Like, I love it. Um, she told me to twist it often. Like, whenever I have it out, just twist it. Um, my locks are counterclockwise and I mean it is what it is I was very like what the hell when I realized they were counterclockwise but fuck it and yeah like I said I do have some length so I mean it shouldn't be that bad but y'all know my shrinkage is real okay locks are not so thank god for the wigs thank god for the wigs comment down below do you have locks do you want locks why or why not did you start your natural hair journey? Whatever, I wanna know. Start watching, you know, some lock videos. Comment down below some lock people I can watch. Also, keep in mind, I'm going to be doing my lock videos on here. Any type of lock journey related stuff is gonna be on here, along with other personal content, like story times, advice videos, girl talks, vlogs, all gonna be here, so. Keep it locked, okay? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, do all that. And I'm going to see y'all next time.